Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a feature that falls into a product within the Back Analyst platform called API Engine. This product is tightly integrated into Back Analyst platform and the user interface for it is available through Back Analyst console. To access the product you can navigate to Business Logic and it is selected by default and available under API services. The selection here is called Hosted and the Hosted stands for Hosted Services, meaning the services that are running within Back Analyst. The essence of the feature is you can publish any kind of Java code into Backendless and we automatically generate client-side APIs based on that service, including REST, Android, iOS, JavaScript, and so on. Here I prepared a small service in Java called Hello World Service. The requirement on the Java side is very basic. The only thing that your service needs to do is to implement I back on the service interface. The interface doesn't have any methods. It strictly is a marker interface. For the demo purposes, I put two methods into my service. One of them is say hello, and the other is get server time. And you can see the implementation of these methods right here. Also, I configured my IDE to create a jar file that includes the results of the compilation and creates a single file for the deployment purposes. Let me compile the project. It is compiled and ready for deployment. The output of the project is located right here. Here's this jar file. So all I'm going to do is to switch back to console and select new hosted service. Here I'm going to call it hello world service. And then I'm simply going to drag the jar file into the browse button to make it easier to select. Here it is. Once I click save, the jar file is uploaded into Back Endless, which processes the jar file, finds the service, and immediately shows me the methods which are available in the service. It also generates SDKs for each of the client environments. But here, the essence of this video is just to demonstrate how easy it is to upload jar files in order to create programmable services running within Back Endless simply by deploying a jar file. Any of these methods can be invoked directly from console. So here, if I click Get and then try it out, here it is. This is the result of the invocation for the get server time method. Likewise, with say hello, there is an argument which is string. So I'm going to enter mark and, and, and click try it out. And the response is hello mark. There will be many more videos dedicated to API services for the reason that there are many other aspects, including security, code generation, integration with Swagger, and so on. But for now, this is the feature that demonstrates how to generate the initial service implementation within Backendless. Thank you and happy coding.